Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to a fantastic, phenomenal, beautiful episode of Block Talk. Um, Lichting's coming up in two months, a little bit less now, I guess. Eh, technically two months, so we're going to start hitting these weekly for a little bit. We got to, Obviously, we have a lot to talk about with everything. Today, we're going to talk a lot about raid testing because that's what it's on everybody's mind. Yes, dungeoning is cool and shit, but at the end of the day, pick a spec and go. Uh, we'll talk about it. That was a little lightly. Um, all of us were in the raids, dropping some dick. Uh, most of us, I think we all tried different specs between Affliction. We'll talk about Affliction. Uh, Demo, Destro, the Demo, Destro hybrid. Um, anything else that you guys ask, bro? You know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do. Starting with some guest introductions from our first off for AA. Main Mice, my man. How are you doing, my brother? My duo partner on launch. How are you doing? Good. Just uh, gathering data and calculating our plan. So. <laughs> He's going to carry us. I love it. How are you doing? What have you been up to, bro? You've been enjoying the beta? What have you been doing? Have you been playing? I guess it's Lock Talk. What have you, uh, what's, I mean, I'm pretty yeah, sure I mean, I'm not going to know the answer, but what's your favorite spec so far when you're <laughs> playing, you know? I mean, Affliction feels awful right now, but it's still Affliction, right? You just can't look at corruption damage. Uh, but yeah, I've been good. Just uh, took a vacation this week. Uh, what's needed? Some time at the lake and now I'm back gathering data and trying to tell Blizzard that corruption's fucked. Yeah, we're gonna work on. We're gonna do something with that. We need to do something with that. Maybe do a video or something about it. And cash yeah. down and figure it out. Nemo, my brother, with that webcam looking thick to the motherfucker, bro. How you doing, man? I know you're over here, bro. You're a private server legend, dog. How are you? What? How? What's going on in your fucking face right now? What's going on with you? I'm just excited to be on beta. It was a lot of fun testing, but unfortunately, as uh, MM said, Affliction's ultra fuck. So it was Destro for like. 80% of it, I think. Yeah, how you liking Destro? How you feeling it? It felt good, actually. Like, um, whenever I was actually Destro, I think I was towards the top of uh, most of the fights. Like, uh, KT, Saf, and Thaddeus. I was, like, either one or top three in just the starter gear. What is, um, so come, just while we're here, you are multiple years of private server. How are you feeling the, you know, just just Nax and Tier 7, obviously, and it's beta, so there's bugs and shit, but trying to ignore bugs how do you feel about the difficulty and like warlock how we're where warlocks stand if we imagine and hope quick decay works um i think they're in a pretty good spot like once quick decay is finished of course obviously the meta is going to be kind of wild just given how fast stuff is falling over and just the previous gear so i could be anything i think uh affliction might not be as strong just to stack them but we'll see yeah, we were doing a tier list yesterday on my other podcast, and I had to put him at A, bro. I was hurt. It hurt me to hurt. It hurt to do it. I was like, "Damn, A without the glyph working, of course." I was trying, <laughs> I, I was trying to go A and then S plus if the glyph works, but everyone was like, "Nah, bro, shut up. We're going S if the glyph works, and then A if not." Now it hurt, broke my heart, but you know what can you do, bro? Yo, I knew my friend, my guildy copium dog, the big pumper, came out of nowhere carrying raids. This man is a demo specialist right now. I don't even think he's playing demo. I think he's just been loving it on the beta. They're, um, they're asking me to play a little bit of demo. I don't know yeah. what I'm doing yet, though. <laughs> Might yeah, be in your raid yeah, on bro. Sundays. That'd be fun, bro. What are you? Uh, yeah, how are you enjoying the beta, man? Man, how are you doing, dog? It's it's a breath of fresh air, man. After clicking Shadow Bolt exclusively for the past year, it feels so nice to have actual buttons to click. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I, I wish I could test affliction kind of properly, but it's just kind of hard to do anything right now. Yeah. You, yeah. so you, I don't think Nemo did much classic Nax, right? I didn't, I didn't do, I did one run the day before TBC. Nemo, correct me if I'm wrong. I know main mice and copium. You guys know life. You were playing classic heavily. What, how do you guys feel about going back in the Nax as a new version of the warlock compared to what you guys are doing in classic? It's nice to not be a rec bot for the 20 monkey melee. So I'll be honest. It's, it's nice that it, they'll, they'll be, they'll be working for us this time. That'd be dope. I think, uh, Nax with seed is fun, but I did a ton of that in TBC already farming Natiashas for people. Oh, so. you did. Okay. So yeah. how, so how, how's the, I really don't know, but how is the difference? Like mechanically, obviously difficulty, don't worry about that, but mechanically and, um, the na like TBC, I mean, like Nax to the Naxes. Is there a big the trash, the same? Uh, the trash as a whole, I mean, is just a pushover in, in, in Wrath compared to what it was in TBC or in uh, Classic. Oh, really? So, yeah. I mean, are the, are the boss mechanics the same? Uh, to a certain extent, they've been tweaked a little bit to, to cater to 25 people rather than 40. Um, but the premise is pretty much the same. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. 
I dig it. I dig it. I am excited for um, speedrunning, though. Uh, just seeing how easy the trash is. I think there's going to be some absolute crazy uh, tech going into the speedrunning. So I think it'll be really cool to see what people do for progression and oh, yeah. for uh, what the speedrunning scene does. Because I think can, things are going to get pretty nutty pretty I quick can't... with all the raid cooldowns and the damage. And I can't yeah, wait. It'll be fun. I can't wait, bro. What do you think about... Uh, we can just talk about it because we're shooting this shit right now. What do you think about... You know locks are going to need stacked at some point in these speed runs. What are you thinking? How do you guys feel with the viability of stacking demos? I think there there's like less trash in this version of Nax than the classic yeah. version has. There's a lot more like four pack of ghouls and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can get to the bosses, it feels like, faster. But I don't think that takes away from demo cleave at all. Like the demo cleave, if you have demo locks like alternating um, metas between packs, is so much sustained. Yeah. AOE damage is going to be very nice for speed clears. I think at least two or three over broken afflictions. Yeah, definitely meta with uh, Bop is actually insane. And can you yep. can rotate that on? And also, I know there's yeah, a lot of those smaller too. packs. Yep, small packs, but I think there's going to be a lot of multi pack pulling. And just make it as big as you can and, and hit as hard as you can. So. Mm -hmm. I think I think you can stack a few demo locks in the speed run and have a blast. That'd be fun. Yeah, Affliction, I don't think, is really going to have much of a, a stay in, in next speed runs. Um, things just fall over too fast. You don't have time to set up, and Demo's just pumping really hard right now. Again, we don't have a really good snapshot beta based on the beta, but um, just kind of uh, some feels craft there. I think Demo's going to be where it's at for Nax. Okay. Demo, did you do any Demo? Any, any Demo talk? Uh, Demo's, of course, going to be better on trash. Um... I think the bosses have just enough health where at least early on before everyone's like fully pissed out affliction is still going to be towards the top mm -hmm. um like for most of the trash packs as affliction if you're just spamming seed you're still like top five you know yeah. um so you're still doing relatively good damage you're just not like the best cleaver and then uh just as far as boss fights go um they're still doing very well like if quick decay was actually fixed and there's some high HP bosses in there too, like Thaddeus felt like Thaddeus. that forever. So that's when it's going to be really time to shine for Affliction when you get those long execute phases. It's going to be a lot of fun. I feel like I'd still go Destro for Thaddeus though. Th Thaddeus feels very, very good. Yeah, as Destro. Or not even Destro. Oh, Destro. De Destro, the Demo Destro hybrid fuck carries, dog. Have you guys seen Take Note do that? I haven't done it in good gear yet, but have you seen Take Note's run? I want to oh, try He hard carried so everything. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet. I think a lot of the thing, I think people like you just said affliction does really good aoe and so does i'm just huffing full fucking destro copium bro i feel i feel like people are still <laughs> sleeping on destro uh we i nemo i know you've been done a run and you did great as destro i've done it as destro a few times and i fucking had an absolute blast i think their aoe is bananas right their seeds but that the shadow fury hits for 5k proc crit and template gear on everything it's so nice what do you think about destro nemo because i know you've been fucking no life in the destro sweat uh i like to clip or I linked part of my VOD where I was Destro on Thaddeus. If you go up there. Do it now. Uh, the second one or the first one? Uh, the second one that has the timestamp of it. It was doing really good on Thaddeus and then just better than uh, almost all the other classes. I did pick up a couple pieces during the run, but it was all template gear outside of that. If I move my camera around a lot, guys, it's because I'm just trying to make sure you guys see the meters. Yeah, I have been. Uh, I, the first run I did was Destro and Affliction dual specs before I knew the issue. Well, I knew there's an issue, but I still want to see it. Cause, and I was still pumping his app. You can still pump his app, by the way. I know it's down, but you can still fucking sweat his app. Uh, but I was switching to D Destro as much as I can. And it was, it's like, it was doing crazy day. I don't, even on bot, like, I was top. I think I was, no, I think Copian beat me as Demo. We, it was him and I, if I recall correctly, Demo Destro uh, on patchwork, on a, on a few of these fights going back and forth. And he would always edge out, obviously, in the, in the execute range. But I really like Destro. I still think it's slept on, bro. I don't know why. I have no I, idea I why. Agree. Yeah, why I are people sleeping? Run. I did a full run as Destro. It's because it's unconventional. They just used to hearing Affliction. They're used to hearing Demo. They I, hear this Destro, and they think that's a PvP spec. Or they think, or what I what I think it is is I what what's happening is they're hearing Destro and they're thinking. I think they're thinking Shadowbolt, like Shadowbolt spam, yeah. like because we're playing Destro now. And they don't know uh, about the Chaos Bolt life, you know. <laughs> enhance good. Oh, enhance is. S plus tier right really now, good. bro. S plus tier, one of the best. Probably, I would. I mean, I don't want to say top DPS, but I would. I wouldn't be af afraid to say top DPS at the same time. They're fucking. They're crazy. A cracked out good spell hands is 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 doing some deeps. 
What's really good about spell hands too, um, especially when speed running or like run first race comes into the meta, is they require like very little time to set up their damage and their melee. So they can just move and do damage. They just drop fire nova to or they just drop like totems and then mm -hmm. uh, stand fire it's nova. It's, crazy. it's on a three second cooldown when it's glyphed, so it just is continuous. Like if you're if you're chain pulling packs between like shamanistic rage, mana pots, and fire nova every three seconds, they're gonna be really strong. But I think it takes a special someone to be really good at in spell hands especially because you it requires a lot of like micro decision making and high APM. AP, high APM. I'm playing APM. I'm playing a lot of Ellie right now and that feels like it's high APM yeah. as well. And that's not even as high as enhanced, you know what I mean? Um There's even more buttons. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, what was I gonna say? I had a good fucking Oh yeah, okay, so this is Stadius and Malgos. Those are just two obviously and then what the fuck ever that spore boss is. And uh those are obviously kinda like gonna be the Destro. How do you feel about Destro outside of those bosses though? Um like, I ran on Sap and KT and it was fine. It was yeah, I agree. Doing good yeah dude it was it was <laughs> uh, same with patchwork too. We have a good patchwork where we were just absolutely caring. I did patchwork as affliction it was really sad just because the uh, quick decay cliff wasn't working. Yeah. 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 Well let's talk about that real quick. You guys wanna explain yeah, what's going on with uh quick decay? Someone I mean I I know what's wrong with it, but main mice, you guys have been hours and hours. I don't even know how many hours of trying to figure out what's wrong with it. You guys uh, want to touch on it? Yeah, I mean, I I don't know exactly what's wrong with it. I just you know, tried to gather as much data as possible to find some consistencies. Um, it seems like haste is calculating in a weird way. Um, well, first off, the haste isn't calculating at all on the first tick um, when you reapply with uh, everlasting affliction so that first tick is always going to be without haste after that it'll start uh, accounting for haste but the issue runs into the tick timer continues on as if it wasn't haste and then on your what would have been your final tick without uh, haste the corruption just falls off i've seen it fall off from like two all the way up to five seconds left yeah. on the the duration yeah so i don't it have just that seems like there's some let me see if I can find it. No, go ahead. I was, uh, I was watching Take Note stream and he was doing a review after his uh, next and he was playing as, I think, Demo. And he was looking at the dot ticks of someone playing Affliction. Uh, it would not do damage for sometimes nine seconds in between. He was so, using click decay. That's where the, re the real issue is. So when you're spent, like when you're in your filler, uh, part of your rotation when you're spamming shadow bolts, especially like during the lust, your shadow bolts are hitting so fast. And if you're close to your target, you're reapplying and you're literally just getting zero ticks. So it's basically like clipping the, clipping the corruption as a whole. So when you're sitting there just casting insanely fast shadow bolts, you're just clipping your corruption over and over and over and it just doesn't tick. So there's definitely something going on in the back end with how it's calculating the haste and then how it's displaying is clearly wrong too. So I'm trying I pretty to much find tried all scenarios. Londo clip that he has of his, of, you see that one of the Londo when he was doing a, a noob and in a, yeah, I have uh, it. Oh, um, I don't, yeah. If you can look at it, I'm trying to find it. Yeah. One second. Yeah. It's just easy. I don't, it's just physical proof. It just falls off three seconds early. And I he did it a few times and he's, he, is maining warlocker i don't know if he still is he i think he's waiting to see if it gets fixed or not but the guff usually just reduces the time between casts every does it takes yeah it's bugged oh. any 100 percent 11 hates enjoyers do you want to explain this all is this that relevant still for anybody wondering made my the little time the, when you did the spreadsheet with the potion of speed, um, that's yeah there. that's that's an old one i okay. need to send you a new one but basically i just tested every kind of um haste buff you could get including cast speed ones just to see if there's any like calculations messing up in the background um so you can basically see there when the first shuttle bolt hits you see that the the tick time has no haste effect uh and then when you actually pop potion of speed you can see that the ticks go up to five seconds so potion of speed is actually slowing down the time between ticks so, so crazy. it's uh <laughs> so fucking crazy dog yeah, there's it's it's definitely like find trying to find the consistencies was really difficult because it seemed like every time I did I tried to mimic the same things I was doing, I'd get different data. So like it's just I mean without being able to see the back end of the game or speak to a dev or anything, it's really hard to diagnose what the issue is. I'm just trying to get as much data as possible. Yeah. Somewhere right here, yeah, he he has a corruption up. 
See if it falls off here. I think oh I sent God. you a clip in this chat too. Um, Five, one four, I just put together. Four, three, two. Still, so you two, can't pull early in Wrath. You fuck. One. Oh, I see it. The uh, clip right above it. I want to see where no. Harry. I don't have haunt on my bars. This is again. fucking catastrophic. I think it's somewhere right here. His haunt's going down the 10, 13. It's refreshing slowly, and then it just falls oh off. Oh my god. Could we lost? And this, and a lot of knows how to play a fucking warlock too. This is not just some guy who just randomly picked it up. It was like, oh, I want to play warlock. He's fucking gaming. Can you solve me? It's a huge vault. But I'm still pumps. It's still doing great damage if you're if it's in the right hand. You're just done. It's missing that OPS burst. Mm -hmm. You're just how the fuck yeah, see right there. It's it all fell away. Off. Right there. See, look. So right it, 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 last tick of damage as if haste wasn't a thing, and then it just falls off. Yeah. <laughs> Right here. Every time, every time there's a new the beta build, first thing I do is like, that was five like, seconds, bro. Off. That was five seconds <laughs> early and it fell off. Oh, four, three. Yep. Okay. That's crazy, dog. Five here, done. How the fuck did my corruption fall? And that's a what big deal fuck? for those that don't know. That's a big deal because you put a corruption up in the beginning of the fight and you more or less leave it on until the end of it, right? You're both, you, you know, well, for until 35. Again. And it chain well, doesn't every time. On it. What the fuck? And, and, and you lose, on, you lose like, the tricks of you lose your tricks. You lose all your bonuses that you had with that. Your dude, your wild magic, your everything else. So just sucks. based on like uh, the the long durations of uh, the rotation and watching how things are going, it's it's like a four hundred to five hundred DPS loss and what we're seeing, what we what we'll actually see. I mean, that's again some feels craft and then kind of trying to calculate things on my own, but it's pretty damn significant. There's an AoE debuff cap. No, I, that's what I, some people were saying too at first, but it was, it's evidently that too. Shadow Priest having a small issue. Not the same kind of issue because it's not a glyph, but they're not getting haste on their DPs and VTs either, which is crazy. It's a lot of damage for them as well. Yep. It is also, a shit ton of damage for them, yeah. So I think... Also, uh, never mind. No, go ahead. I was going to say you also lose out on a bunch of like eradication procs and yeah. um, instant shadow bolts too from Nightfall. It's crazy, dog. I hope they fix it. I, I think they will, but at the same time, for some reason, I like, I like, think they will because they fixed DP, which we can talk about now. If you guys want to talk about the DP change, demonic pack you used to be able, to, you used to, you know, say you crack, you snap a four hundred spell power dark demonic pack on your raid, and then you know twenty seconds later he crits again for some baby crit, and now that got overridden by two hundred. That's changed now. If anybody the wants to come and touch on it, yeah, go ahead and talk about it. I'm really happy they did that. I mean, it's yeah. literally just quality of life wise for oh, yeah. demonology war warlocks is just it's perfect, and, and it was really smart to do. So I'm glad they did that. <laughs> At least one specs put together, you know. Yeah, I mean, we could be <laughs> arms warriors right now. So yeah, that's that's. A... Yeah, they make it so, so you can't override hope, it. Though. So, you can't override I mean, it within a smaller one, which is a very big deal, because otherwise we would have had to sit there and park our pet and this other shit. They're probably you think there's gonna be some little min-maxing to it still, right? Or you should let that shit well, yeah, while out. There's still little some internals the there too, and you wanna make sure you're able to get um I, I don't necessarily think you'll be pulling back and think you'll be able to time things out and you'll have enough time between cooldowns to really make it count there, uh within that five second window, I think it is, with the internal cooldown or the the duration cooldown. I agree. Also, I think it goes through regardless of yay. Let's see. I think uh, gearing up will be a little bit different just due to the demonic pack changes before. Um, Agreed. Like, Warlocks would be given illustration plus, like, Dying Curse, and they'd use that for a long time. But I'm thinking as long as trinket procs are reliable and good enough, they'll be going double proc trinkets because they'll be able to keep up that uh, entire double proc buff up, like, so long as the trinkets align. Up for like yep. almost the whole fight like yep. the 45 second icd trinkets are a1 for that sundial dying curse mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no illustration it, boys yeah <laughs> illustration I mean, for affliction speaking nice. of illustration it procs off life tap which is beautiful absolutely phenomenal yep. i didn't know that at all because it didn't Seems do that like i have to break service. my habit of spamming life tap for 30 seconds before every boss now so. sundial yeah, sure. procs off of it too though so if you actually yeah. proc it before a fight trying to fish out i mean you can even help funnel in a little proc which is kind of an issue i don't think there's a way around it uh besides on private servers you would trinket swap but the, on beta they have it so when you put on like sundial you have 45 seconds icd before you can get a proc yep. which means for first 45 seconds which is a big window you're not getting your proc so you have to find that 
it's like it's still worth. I feel like it's still worth stacking a trinket up, though. You know what I mean? So it's like you just gotta stack a trinket up and hope that the f you get a proc early, right when you start stacking it, and then you can go into the boss. I it's, it's gonna be annoying. Be, I think it might be more DPS for the raid, though, if you hold the ICD proc of the trinket and start the fight without your illustration stacks. If you're demo, because then you get the sundial proc faster for the d like bigger demonic pack faster for the raid. I would dare say don't you don't bad. even give demo illustration. Just go to the other locks and down to the mages and whoever else would use it, right? Especially because Dying Curse and Sundial are going to be better. I the think. healers would like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people would use that. I don't think healers use it. I, mean, I think I think it's best for Holy Paladins, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong. No. Uh, it's best for Resto Druids, I thought. Yeah, illustration's only good really for Resto Druids and Discipline Priests, or okay. if you brought a Holy Priest. Um, the other classes like Paladins would use um, DMC, of course, and then their other trinkets are probably going to be like owl or the haste trinket out of balls of stone realistically yeah we wipe here yep. and then uh i think uh alchemy trinket is actually super underrated as well for a healer oh, yeah. mm. that's like insane that's does like it still one. give mana back extra mana back yeah and you could use um the crazy alchemist potions uh i yep. don't know how many people have actually leveled out and tested it on the ptr though just to see the proc rates because you also have to make sure you learn all the recipes too Mm -hmm. There's not so a lot of people like leveling professions. It's like really hard to get like belt buckles and like tailoring like enchants on the beta right now because no one's leveling professions. Yeah. But, like if the proc rate is good enough on it, um, like crazy alchemist potions would just be really good because you could double proc like a mana pot. That's like 12 to 14k mana or something. Like absurd. Yeah. Did you guys uh make any previous yet? You guys have one like, my, like with Sims yeah. and stuff, yeah. We can go over it if you want to look at it. Like it's the eighties. I haven't. Is the sim done? Is it still work in progress? Did they finally fixed. They get it, or they didn't add something to it, right? There was one thing that we're waiting on to fix it. Or am I tripping and it's working? Which one? Uh, any of the Sims. Hildy's and the other one. I haven't played too much around with anything. Um but there's, from what I've seen, there's still a lot of bugs. Yeah, yeah I don't think they're finalized. Um, this is the set I'm pretty much going to be going with here. Uh, if you swap a couple of things around, it's, like, very minimal. I think um, Leggings of Calamity are one of those that you could swap. The other best option from Sunwell is the Calico Slates, the haste ones. You pretty much trade, like, I think 32 crit for 10 haste and uh, 25 spirit. And I think the haste and spirit actually outweighs it. Mm -hmm. um, so the Calcos legs are better than Calamity, but it's super minimal, like one to two DPS. Is Titan still going to be in? Did this confirmed? Um, it's in now, but it's not confirmed if it will be in. It would make sense because all the other classes get really nice blacksmithing weapons mm -hmm. and it's on the same item level. So it doesn't really make sense that they would take it away. It's, it's, on the it's on the trainer right now. If you go to the blast yeah. the trainer, look what's available. Okay. I dig and it. Then, uh, yeah, something notable here. The only two pieces you really bring from your Sunwell Bis into this are one of the two leg options and Amos of the Convoker. But okay. um, there's a really good option that's BOE outside of Amos, so it's not that big of a deal. What are you honestly. using if you're not using it? What do you think you would use? Dark Runic Mantle from, I think, Halls yeah. of Stone Trash. Those it's BOEs. like... Yeah, it's really good. There's gonna be a lot of those flying around. Shouldn't be too expensive. The staff, I think, is also a good option too, if you could somehow fit in the hit, but that part is really tough. What's the difference? Um, and double proc trinkets are just the way to go. On use trinkets and wrath aren't very good, just because they have a lot less pat, like um, average spell power throughout fights. Mm -hmm. I think on like really short fights where you could control um, your uptime on it then they could shine like if the fight's less than a minute i could see it potentially being good and we have a lot of options for hit other fights which is nice too there's so much hit everywhere i feel like it's not as hard to get a hit as everybody thinks it is oh i got a fucking random question if we look at uh I, have you guys seen where people were you can you know as demo se like severely drop hit for a shit ton of more spell power how do you guys feel about that you know what i'm talking about I think we'll have to wait for the Sims to see yeah, how big like of a, a rate DPS upgrade it is. Like a full spell but, uh, power to be super low on hit, but you're you're like, you got a lot of spell power. I wouldn't wish that on any demo lock. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Do you think That's it'd like be a, do you think, do you think it'd be a meme? Yeah. 
Um, I think it might be meta, actually. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't think it's a meme. I think it's real. If you're talking about you're there as a demo lock to support your raid, you're not there to pump. You're going to pump regardless, but you're not there. That's not why you're there. You're there well, to fucking much, support. Well, it comes down to how much spell power are you providing for loss of damage to yourself. Like, yeah. well, what's what's the balance? If, if you get extra 40 uh... spell power for everybody in the raid, but you could do an extra 150k on the boss, like, what, like, what, what does it come down to? Bro, you're getting, like, an extra 800 spell power or some shit. 800 spell power? It's like, six, six, seven, yeah. And it's more on you for snapping. That's... And remember, it's hit. So you, like, at the same time, I want to be like, you might not miss. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, yeah, might, not, so you might not miss. Yeah, you might not miss because your pet's not affected by that, right? Yeah, it's going to stay with... I mean, I'm not saying... We're just... Hey, we're just... We're doing our duty and just bringing up some shit that you're going to hear regardless from somewhere. You know, I'm surprised you guys haven't heard it from the world. I heard it first from the Warlock Discord. I got this set from somebody in the Warlock Discord. A uh, one-stop shop for everything Warlock related. But you guys already know that. Um, I made a tier 8 one. That's uh, thank you. pretty sad. There's only, I think, 8% hit on it. But it has a ridiculous amount of spell power. This is assuming um, Storm Jewels are also um, in the game. Ooh, your harmful spells have a chance to increase your spell power by 850. Well, you wouldn't use this as demo, right? You'd still go back and use. I like the name of the set. <laughs> demo <laughs> cock. <too. laughs> I oh, don't even know if it has two set here because. Uh, well, I probably stopped trinket just... for one of the on another. You, know. you, you even sacrifice nitro boots for extra spirit. That is. Bro, that's a gamer. Tr truly demo cock tease. Exactly. Oh, he, yeah. he went, did you go JC with this? That's why, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I went full, uh, full remind me, power. I didn't put that on agenda, but we don't, we don't have agenda. We're just shit talking to each other for an hour, hour and a half. But let's talk about, we're going to talk about professions of two in a little bit after this. Bring, make sure we don't forget about that as a fucking hot topic. Um, yeah, I was, we were talking about, you know, Kobe and I had the same guild and fusion. And we were talking, someone was asking like the best, you know, one of the good demos. I was like, well, here's a normal demo set, but people are starting to theory a little bit about dropping major hit. And I was like, that kind of makes sense. I don't think it'd be that bad. I feel like if you, if I, if I accept, yo, hey, Chris, you're playing demo. Are you cool with that? Yeah, I'm down. I'm doing whatever the fuck I is. My whole plan, I don't care about my DPS. I'm not looking to see where I'm in the meters. I'm there to make every caster in there 700 fucking thousand buff off DP. Copium, I think with high, we're, what's the highest we got? 430? 436 yeah, or something? Like 430. And our gear's not even good. That's the and, Yeah, and we weren't min maxing. It was just like, yeah, whatever. We weren't like really watching it. It was like, oh shit, four, you know. Um, so if you're able to get up to, that's a lot of spell power that you're demo lock in on average, it was like 300. Like if you're just not yeah. paying attention, it was like 300 on average, but uh, min maxing it, you're going to be able to get up to 500. I think easily. Embrace the spiders better than send out. Are you I think you'd run both. Uh, no, it's 505. Expect, yeah. It's 505 versus sundial being 590. Oh, is it, is it, oh, there's spell power on it though. Ooh. Yeah, it's passive spell power, so it's really yeah. good. It's, I think, the third best trinket option behind uh, Illustration and Dying Curse in Tier 7 for Affliction, at least. Yeah. For Demo, though? I don't know. I like the proc. You have fat proc off at 90, yo. You're pretty much just swap, clean swap the proc for the static, right? Oh, it's haste. Oh, no, you wouldn't use embrace. It's haste. I didn't know the 505 was haste. No, no, no. You would use sundial. The whole point of using sundial is that spell power. You're a demo lock. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see that. I didn't fucking even notice that it was haste. My bad. That's so no, you wouldn't. You would. That's maybe someone that's something else, but you wouldn't because you want the spell power proc. Your job is, is to go. This trinket has 765. This trinket has 590. You do whatever you can. And all of a sudden you get a fat proc on that or a, a fat DP off these, right? You're not going to get a DP off haste. I mean, you are, but you're giving up 590 you know but i can't wait for the game to actually come out have you guys tried to like farm previous or anything on the beta oh about that i uh, i i can't even replace my sun gear still i'm i just finally replaced like i had four set till like the other day like it was hard to like literally the heroic gear i wasn't even be able to replace them right away for previous stuff that's not very good you have like the cheetah rings and you have hair <laughs> from the knacks and that's i mean that's about it yeah, the, the template gear. I uh, was I had a template character, and I went and I've done three days of heroics or something on a fresh template, and I've replaced like three pieces of gear. Like when you like a heroic piece drops, and it would be equal or like a couple spell power or something within this template gear. So the template gear is garbage, but it's not like you know what I mean. You're it's okay. It's not as bad the as the communal gear. <laughs> Some of the template gear is like straight from the heroics. Yeah, it's exactly. Not the, it's the worst. It's not what, great, but you know. Yeah, what I like it, it. It's heroic gear. It's like shitty heroic gear. 
It's like the it's yeah. like when you it's like you just hit 80 and you're going on your heroics and then you get like oh you're like oh this is better than my questing <laughs> gear. It's not best, but it's better, you know. I think they dropped the ball on the template gear for Lux. They put like a spark of life, the MP5 haze trinket in our bags, yeah, and yeah, why? <laughs> they gave us the pendulum of Talonic currents do when we... they could have just given us like um, a forge ember and mark of the war prisoner. Do we need to talk about your favorite trinket? Mark of the war prisoner. No, no, no. Oh, spark of life. Nah, pendulum, bro. Oh. <laughs> Do you like garbage ass or... trinket, dog? No. No. no, I'm trolling it, bro. It's fucking <laughs> trolls, fuck. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, it's like that MGT trinket, right? Yeah, I'm actually using. That's the trinket I have right now. I, I haven't seen a four chamber or a mark, so it's just on your tin that you brought it up. Yeah, yeah, on my on my yeah. tin. It's just this... kind of funny that you brought it up. I was like, oh, I guess oh, it's, it's like so bad, super. Bro. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's better as affliction because it'll proc off your dots, but it's, even then, it's horrible. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not. How about the sadness? How do you guys feel about it? I mean, Nemo, you know more about it, but how do you guys feel about that egg not working, dog? I was kind of, oh, I was kind of excited I was for it. it too. And I kind of like when it doesn't work because um, I don't have to spec into Fels Energy and I get the pushback reduction mm -hmm. from Destro. Yeah, I could, yeah. <laughs> and after, after, I wouldn't even put one in there usually. Right. Yeah. Like yeah, for I like, um, I got it Demo, right it's naturally in there. Yeah, I got it right away. This the first thing I got with my badges. I was like, oh, I'm so excited to do it, and it didn't work. Oh yeah, proc, they procs up health funnel, but you're not gonna sit there and just chain health funnel before pool and hope you get a proc. It's like worthless. It just this was one of those items where it was like on private servers. I just remember being like a cheat trinket, like oh I can get double trinket up on a Tuesday, you know what I mean? But yeah, you're right. No cheesy stuff. I really am proud. I'm really glad that uh, I didn't expect. I don't know where it is. I didn't expect a loose illustration to proc off of life tap because it I, I i don't know why it's just because going dealing with the dark moon card from tbc and how they just fucked us on that well i mean i don't know if they fucked us on that or that's how it's supposed to work but i was like yeah there's no way but the tooltip specifically says damage and healing so i was like oh wait a minute you might be able to you know what i mean for sure get it off health funnel and now it procs off everything like everything everything procs off everything that, in the in the os i was like in your chat and because i remember sundial procking off life tap and i'm like, this is gonna proc off life tap oh yeah Oh, it's, true. It's, it's, yeah, I didn't even think of that. It's so, it's so sleeper, though. You know what else is sleeper? Intensity. Someone was talking about intensity earlier. That's a very good talent that I see a lot of people just neglect entirely. And I have no idea why. It's super OP. 70% <laughs> yeah. reduction in, in knockback. What? Yeah, do you not, don't you not need 70? You only need two points in it or something? Or one? And then two you can have the 70. one and then the raid covers the rest? I just run two because I'm a bitch, to be honest. I'm scared and I run too every time. Um, do you have a Destrobus? If it, like, obviously, like the spirit we don't need and stuff like that. Like, uh, tier seven bus? Mm -hmm. I think it's exactly the same. Yep, that's what, I, what about previous? I think previous is a little different though, right? Um, because you don't need previous? as much spirit. Spirit still scales really well. Oh, because yeah, because it's spell armor. Spell power. Yeah. I think it's pretty much the same. Like, Affliction and Destro gear are almost the same. And tier seven. Dope. Okay, well, you know what I want to talk about? Some kinky kink professions. Starting with affliction. What do you guys think? Obviously, the obviously tailoring engineering JC. The question is, so many people wonder: Is it tailoring? Is it JC? Is it engineering? No matter what. Oh, so the first question: Are you engineering? No matter what. Yes. No matter yes, what. Hundred percent. Yes. Everyone I'm engineering always. Sure. Okay, and then obviously I'm going engineering tailoring because I like the proc. The proc was changed for those that don't know to 60 seconds instead of 45 seconds, and because it, it's like the later form of it, and it gives you a little bit more spell power. Um, I'm going engineering tailoring. What, how do you guys feel about that? I think for versus JC, the, the jewel crafting is a more consistent uptime on the buff for Demo, but for Affliction and Destro, I'd still probably use the cloak from tailoring. I agree. But that, that's that's my opinion. Am I yeah, well. copium out of my mind to think that Demo would not would just be would not even go engineering, and you would just go JC and tailoring? So so since it's sixty seconds, even if you get the proc, it's not going to line up with all of your forty five ICD trinkets. So what's the point of even having it? That's so you true. might as well have the NG. First one might. That's it. You might as well have NG for the for the glove buff and boots and all the other toys, just for the convenience and raids. I don't think it's the end yeah. of the world not having either, but. It's honestly coming down to your playstyle, but definitely for Demo, I would take jewel crafting over tailoring just because of the consistency of the buff. What about any enchanters? 
spell power like jc enchanting uh i mean i i think a bunch of people try to theorycraft their way out of going engineering like <laughs> you'll always ask uh, see questions in not just the warlock discord but every single discord but they're, they're like oh is engineering actually that good but it is. why do people hate on it so much they, they just want to be different <laughs> I, think, I, I think it's because they haven't had it like uh, i hated engineering in classic the little bit of classic i played right and then when tbc came out and i got more serious we had to run engineering and i was like oh my god i love engineering what the fuck i can't believe i was never engineering and then i started playing private servers on lich king and i was like oh nitro boost you don't need rocket boots bro not even the haste gloves and all that other shit just saying and not even the fact that you have an auction house in dalaran right it's just the nitro boots bro nitro boost is a, D a fat dps increase because you're Imagine. seeding you're seed spamming from the back while melee's up there just you know running with the boss you could just boot up there boom keep up you know i love it i love it i love it imagine you're on low feb your spore is ending in 30 seconds you don't want to move the spore's coming close you see a monkey warrior melee running up to the spore you nitro boots over to the spore and you get the buff anyway <laughs> and go back to position and then port right back <laughs> and port right back yeah. and nitro boots are just invalid like warlocks don't have movement abilities we have a teleport which is convenient at times like which is op boys i fucking awesome. love that shit yeah but in raids you're right you don't use it too much but yeah yeah, but you know, Druids of Sprint, they just have Blink, uh, Rogues of Sprint. We don't have anything like that. So, Nitro Boots is essential for our survival and for uptime on bosses. And like, yeah. you, you just need it. You just need it. I love it. I love Yeah. By the way, anybody who's curious, I, I am, I'm an engineering shill. I'm just trying to be the guy, the voice for everybody else. I've so many people, do I need engineering? I Devil's feel like you advocate. don't, yeah, you don't need <laughs> it, need it. But I, I mean, as Demo, I feel like I love it though. I do like it a lot. I mean, it's Demo, especially. I mean, you got Rocket Boots is handy, bro. Remember, you got Emo or you do a lot of fucking AOE as a. Uh, Sappers during your Emo oh, or uh, man. you seething. Boom, kaboom. Serenite bombs, which nobody's really using on here, bro. That instant cast, short, big ass radius, so much damage off the GCD. It's so fat. And that's one thing I feel like Warlocks are going to have to get used to is you. And I'm still falling prey to this when I'm on the beta, is, and you see me bitch about it on my stream sometimes, is you got it. You're not really max ranging that much on these trashes bro you want to be a little bit closer bro i feel like you do you know shadow flame bombs like i said especially demon obviously mora outside of it you don't really have to but i feel like if you're not you're just in the back casting seeds and then you're running the whole time trying to catch up because they're moving the whole time i think that's a, a a change for warlocks as a whole though too especially with tricks of the trade you want to make sure you stay in range of your rogue and you're not screwing him over kind of cheating towards the boss and wrath i think mm -hmm. is just more you know travel time of haunt being able to line that up better i think it just being closer is as a whole is better and that's something people are gonna have to learn to change mm -hmm. thank you for bringing that up to the tricks too it's really good too that's i for, completely forgot about that you you especially because 20 yards 20 yeah, the, yards the first thing i do when i'm in a raid i go to the raid before the raid's even filled up i, I swear to god i asked the two rogues i'm like yo you run a tricks you got me and then give you want to get the other one to this dude cool you know what i mean and you got to make sure that you be nice and give them the macro Oh, people I just don't know that. their macro yeah exactly. oh yeah pay them but they're guild i'm not paying my guildies to do their job right <laughs> they you got to be in range otherwise they have to stop their dps and the rogues do fucking giga dps they're not they're not they're not like getting carried like in tbc i mean i guess now they're doing right i didn't mean to piss any rogues off but you know they're not getting carried anymore and, whoa uh, make it as easy as possible for <laughs> yeah, them. yeah yeah that's all you gotta it, do it, you know? if they take the glyph too uh, those are those are true true saints rogues that take the the tricks mm -hmm. glyph as well i think they yeah. should be taking the glyph it's yeah, just so do. strong some of them take fan of knives instead so uh, uh, watch cope. out for that yeah cope <laughs> But I think, well, how do you feel about well, why we're on tricks? They changed, well, okay. I thought they changed tricks to where the damage was going, whatever. So you tricks me, whatever damage I do goes to the rogue. I guess they're changing that again, right? Someone was saying in the world like this, where the cure is changing that and it's making it, it's just going to a random NPC. Like it's just the damage is nothing no more. It doesn't go to, on anybody's shit. Did you guys hear about that? I don't know if I like that change. Well, I don't either. I, you know why? Because now rogues have no, I mean, are, okay. Yeah, if you're in a no guild, reason. if you're in a guild, yes, obviously this it's common sense to tricks of lock right an half lock but in not serious skill you don't need to you actually don't need to right it's just to help to kill the boss that get like on the meters here yes you will see the tricks on here you see the effect of it but not on logs right and i think that if they don't if they do that then you just see rogues tricksing each other pretty much right and which is they do good damage bro at the same time so but i, I think I, it's you know. fine if they tricks each other too yeah. because um i mean rogues should be canceling it in general when they give it to people after the uh the buff actually goes to the player but if two rogues are tricking each other they never have to worry about it it's really convenient they could time it out with like their killing sprees and stuff which is nice i think they should be combat too 
if they add that NPC that I, I heard it was going to be like the something of shame, whatever. I was reading that some rogues are considering not trixing at all, unless it's for the tank for initial aggro, since there's no DPS increase in the logs and there's no incentive. They're wasting DPS, wasting energy on the tricks yep. itself. So I, mean, I, also, raid spot. I also heard that, but also that's, <laughs> that would be pretty cope with rogues because it still kills the boss faster in game. Like exactly. in game, the boss That's dies faster, is. significantly faster, because you're hitting an aft lock in the beginning or the end, whatever you're doing with that, and that drains fucking right. So that would be kind of silly if they did that. But yeah, I mean, rogue cope, you know. For some reason, like rogues don't like warlocks. I've been like they fucking hate us for some reason. Like, well, we never. We why just are we hating on warlocks, bro? <laughs> we just need to be cognizant of our positioning. That twenty yards, like I, I was playing a rogue uh, in Nax before they closed it. It's mm -hmm. it's. It's dece it's deceivingly tiny. You have to be close so you can get it off the rip, and then a thirty five percent the re the re the reaffliction. Mm -hmm. So well, off the rip, you just precast it off, and then they don't actually lose anything giving it to the warlock. Then yeah, and then later in tier ten, tricks gives rogue energy, so they want to use it on cooldown because it's uh, yeah, then they'll use them. It. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh hey, you want tricks? Here you go. I think, I, am threat? I don't care. I think guilds that uh are doing anything halfway correct will should be given to warlocks but at the same time i want to say this look at tbc and i feel like people just overall didn't really fuck with didn't really like warlocks much right and we had a lot of bad warlocks a lot of people pulling aggro a lot of yada 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 and now well yes we don't have that much aggro problems and we do change we're not spamming shadow bolts each spec got you know significantly you know buffed in terms of uh rotation right like you're, you're pressing buttons and if you're pressing the wrong way why tricks them why tricks are why tricks are i mean why tricks a warlock that doesn't do his execution phase right you know and, tricks uh, the best player in your dad guild whoever's yep. doing the most damage yep. at, the, at, at that point like whatever that's what i was leading to and if the, at the end of the day you know who you're supposed to tricks if you have a warlock that's fucking bottom 10 every fucking time no matter what spec he is don't give those eh, he's been, oh if i had tricks i fucking swear to god that we're not telling you, you got to do that i'm just saying if you're in a guild that's halfway doing anything correctly and your locks are respectable you should be i feel i feel like you should be tricking them that's like and if they're not af i don't know i'm i'm dead i like being destro and getting tricks i don't know about you guys that shit fucks bro it is one nice thing about being destro is uh it requires zero raid support so you just show up you don't need tricks you mm -hmm. don't complain at all you just and you don't need to waste dude the shard usage as destro is is abysmal bro you never need to use a shard like what are you using a shard on Yo, I took Shadowburn with with uh, Destro. I ever, I know it's garbage. Dash Shadowburn is just absolutely ass. And people are like, yeah, why aren't you taking Shadowburn? I had a Shadow Fury for single target. And I was like, all right, because of the overall. Because Shadow Fury actually does insane damage. And then I did it anyway because I wanted to finish her. It's so bad, bro. It's so bad. It's so bad. Dude, what happened to it? What happened to Shadowburn, dog? It's so bad now. It's, it is damage, bro. But I use Shadow Fury as the, the finisher. And it does more damage than the goddamn, way more damage than the Shadowburn. It's kind of sad. But at the same time, because of that, you would only take Shadowburn as Destro anyway. It's the only way you can finesse it. I mean, I guess you could as Demo Destro Hybrid, but it's so bad that you don't take it. And that eliminates, I don't know about you guys, but in TBC, if you go over my VODs, my overall, when I'm carrying shit, yo, almost all my shards are Shadowburns. I'm Shadowburn so much, it's insane, right? Because you should. It's how you pump. And, uh, yeah, but it's, it's gutted. So as Destro, you no shard issues at all. Your pet doesn't cost a shard. I mean, you got to summon and health stones, but, you know, whatever. And another thing that's a big quality life change, I feel like is that you can only have one as i'm against the grain here but you can only have one hellstone in your bag at all times you can't trip you can't stack three ranks of them it doesn't matter if there's different ranks if i have a two of two main mice one of one and nemo's uh o of two you take one of them that's the one you get right um which means one person in rain needs to have two of two of all times yeah i like Kinda that nice though yeah. honestly mm -hmm. I, I half the time people beg for health stones especially different ranks and then you'll go to the log at the end of the raid and find out nobody was using the stones at all just making them for your health, I guess. I like just use them. Keybind, make a weak or something. Uh, two, eight. Okay. Uh, what were we talking about? Tricks. Oh, Demo. Uh, Affliction doesn't have shard problems that bad at all. Demo has fucking. I have ass fucking shard problems because I'm trying to. I some would say that I over soul fire, bro. That's like my whole goal in life is just to get as many soul fires as I can possibly get off, dog. I love it. I see. I got a 28k off the other day. <laughs> just saying. I was trying to figure out. So I'm asking everybody, what's the highest soul fires you guys are seeing in private service? People were ICC 30k. I was like, you are faded, bro. There's no way you're getting 30k soul fires on ICC, and I'm getting 20 somethings already. Out of raid. 
so that's really fun the whole soul fire mechanic decimation is the talent is my favorite thing ever which leads into the demo Destro hybrid spec someone asked as well what professions would you run with it same thing same thing engineering tailoring um the demo Destro hybrid for those who don't know i can show it i hope that i have a this is not a secret spec we've been i mean nemo told me about this i don't know how many how long ago you know months almost a year ago or some shit. uh my boy ngl's done a, a thing on it we just like it i like it a lot it's one of my favorite specs um it's that you just drop you're dropping you give up your you either look at it like you're destro or you're, i look at it like i'm destro and i give up you're giving up chaos bolt and you're giving up all this other shit. this little it's right here backdraft which you know sucks because that is the whole point of it you keep him conflag you get pyrocosm but you drop down here low enough to get decimate some more imp damage and your imp bro is doing is equal damage to if you have when i was using glyph of imp my imp was doing more damage than my emulate which was up full time which emulate damage but when i would use glyph of emulate then emulate would beat the imp so they're like i mean imp's doing major damage and he lives I, he didn't die one time oh, he did die he did die actually but yeah fell down which is like one of the biggest changes in the world to me is that this is a three minute cooldown um instead of a 15 minute cooldown so if your pet dies you just get him back up in well pretty much instantly but this is like by far my favorite spec i think this is slept on even more and i think this is going to be a powerhouse in pre-patch and in i don't know about pre-patch i don't want to put my foot in my mouth but tier seven i think it's gonna be great you're gonna have demon husband demon dash just concept yeah yeah i mean you see take no ran it i ran it a lot of people have been running it uh what do you i know nemo you know a lot about it too what do you guys think about this let's get in lower gear levels i think I think it'll fall off like mid dax yeah that, that's what i was gonna say is that a lower gear levels destro just owns but once you start to get that 25 max gear 25 os gear like it'll hopefully afflictions fix like i would go affliction i fucking am having so much fun with these goddamn warlocks on the beta right now it's so much fun dude even leveling which i guess we can talk about at some point down the road too it's just everything about it the, everything about i mean besides quick the quick get quick decay which kind of is irrelevant right now because raid testing is closed anyway and you're not going to be the spamming heroics i mean you can spam as a affliction but you know there's a couple other specs you can do a little bit better than that but i love this spec i'm excited for it i want to do it when i have full gear on i haven't had it you know but yeah this boss is bugged this is this is the boss we're cheesing <laughs> uh what else we got here boys anything we else want to talk about here if you have questions in chat today, you can put them in uh um what about in the dungeons you want you guys are doing any dungeon spamming are you just solely doing it as demo with yeah. no issues just like more. yeah dungeon cleaving let's talk about dungeon cleaving yeah lovely, lovely. are you just sticking are you sticking if you're are you suggesting just you're going demo the whole way up from 70 up live in your groups yeah demo in the groups and then if i'm doing open world stuff probably affliction like if it's by myself but uh, I think I'm going to get pretty competitive with my group of five. We're going to pull out all the stops to try to get the first 80s on our server. And hey. it's going to be almost demo all the way. Like, what server are you on again? Um, white main. Okay, good. Because Main Max and I are getting it on uh, Benediction mode. <laughs> are you guys going to try to batch it together? We are going to duo in the. We're hitting open world, bro. We're going to hit the open world. We've got some duo grinding spots. We don't. I don't think we found anything past 74 75 yet so we might have to split there but either way we're going to be you know banging each other for you know about four or five levels which is going to be fun how much uh xp per hour are you guys getting about? i think the most that uh, he, he's found was 900 about eight to 900 1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. 1.1 yeah there you go are, are these places that just have large density of mobs and you think people are not gonna i'm not gonna say anything we can't say, we can't say anything. yeah don't worry about <laughs> it yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's so serious we're like we're not we probably won't even be streamed for the first few hours of it and we don't obviously we don't know if we're gonna get first we're just gonna try you know what i mean i don't even yeah. really care about it he's doing all the work i wouldn't it's, even mind if he got it first you know what i mean i mean it's it's gonna just, be interesting because i mean we might get there and it's gonna there's gonna be 40 other people there mm. i've been like every time i'm in on beta i literally just camp like a hundred yards away watching and literally no one's ever there so you got a hunter with farsight or whatever <laughs> he's just like camping it and yeah. making sure no one's there at the same time people realize like fliction is the i want to say the best the number one open world quester now we went from <laughs> we went from garbage putting up a dot and then anybody else tagging it and now that's changed for those i don't know 
So the minute that we put up a agony corruption, whatever, anything, it's our it's our mob. The minute the deep buff touches the mob, it's ours. We, nobody can steal the tag. Yeah. Here's the best part though. A lot of people don't know this warlocks. Hunters don't know this. Mages don't know this. Some people don't know this. So what you're gonna do? I see it all the fucking time when I level. I would go put a, cur a corruption up something. It's my mob. They don't know it. And they fucking shoot it and they take the aggro. And I go, okay, here, kill my mob for me then, bud. And I just keep on pushing. And it's so amazing. I love it. It's like one of the best changes in the world. Obviously, this is good for Shadow Priest as well. Pain. Anybody with an instant cast, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if Hunter's Mark works yet. I think it does, but can't you only have it on one mob? But I guess you, uh, I don't know. Hunter's I don't really Mark know. doesn't tag. Okay. Hunter's yeah. Mark doesn't tag. Yeah. So the only thing that's out tagging you is people with instant cast, but not even instant cast because Ice Lance has a projectile. While it is fast, obviously, everything has a projectile. We do not. We're at 36 and yards running and gunning and dotting the whole time i'm doing a speed run. i'm doing actually doing my i'm doing a 70 to 80 speed run tomorrow i'm doing a 24 hour stream the record is 24 the record is 20 hours but he had he was a shaman or a dk and he, he used tome of cold weather i'm not gonna use i'm gonna act like it's fresh i mean act like it's a the actual launch so we'll see how we do it i'm very excited to do it tomorrow because we have reset xp now and reset xp is the best guy in the world you know but we're, I, I can't wait to open world level i don't know about you main mice i'm excited i i'm we're i we do know that it's layered we're on benediction we know well trust me we know how packed it is we know everything but it just seems fun bro i dungeon cleave classic and tbc and i was fucking miserable i was absolutely literally miserable. like i tested literally just like running through howling ford just tagging like the the boars and just random shit that no one's ever gonna be and it was still like 600k an hour just like not even like staying in a certain area just running north and going in opposite directions i mean warlock just as long as you can maintain your leashes um and you get the hang of how it goes warlocks just you can go non-stop you can literally mm -hmm. go 70 to 80 without stopping so. and the leash the le people there so you, there is a noticeable difference on leashing from tbc and, and leashing in my opinion however war main had the fucking worst leashing in the world and i was leveling on that so it i didn't even i was like yo this is amazing on leashing because i haven't leveled in tbc yeah. and i don't like a year or something like that right so it is pretty good but yeah the leashing but yeah once you learn to snap it at least in the beta different mob types have different types of leashing so it's been interesting to you kind of got to get a feel for the area you're at because mm -hmm. it, it seems to be different every time you go somewhere else yeah that's why i'm doing that run tomorrow but i've leveled my i leveled a warlock a shadow priest and an la shaman through the beta the sh warlock and the priest were with no add-ons uh because beforehand i was using a, a guide from like the 1500s thought bot or some shit it was crazy and then uh now we have rxp and add-ons and i was on a shaman and i don't need it's ridiculous how fast i went yeah 24 hours in a row and we're just gonna be leveling up warlock the whole time i'm starting level 70 i'm gonna pick up some flasks and that then i'm just gonna hit the ground follow that arrow the whole time and i'm just gonna we're gonna listen to music got a couple of playlists i was working on anyway yeah but it was a lot of oh fun. i missed not bot that site was so nice that was you, such a good website that was amazing what happened to it did wowhead bite it out or something wowhead right yeah i'm pretty sure wowhead like bought it. it i do love wowhead though don't get me wrong I do uh, love some Wowhead. Alakazam. <laughs> Alakazam. Have not heard that. Yeah. Um, Big Cope, are you uh, Dungeon Cleaving too? You are, I assume? I'm, I'm Dungeon Cleaving. I have three Paladins, a Shadow Priest, and me. Woo! Three Paladins, huh? Fun group. I feel, I feel like you're going Demo. You wouldn't want like all casters in there? Well, it's... Stuff dies too fast. Yeah. That's the, true. the most important thing is to be with people you can stand for. Well, and also casters have to sit and drink. You have to life tap. So that's actually, you know, you can just keep chugging and chugging and going. And you're doing a lot of damage too. So that'll be fun to watch. It's a great group. I'm excited for. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I just can't do it, bro. I just another dungeon cleaving thing. I think if it was, I feel like if we did, the raids don't open up for seven days. And I feel like if they were open at launch then then i'd be a little more scared of being in the open world because there is a chance that we yo there's a chance that we go in the open world and we're fucked and there's just a lot of people there granted yeah we'll, we already have we'll have macros set up to tag all you know all the target macros and stuff but still there's a we know that there's a chance we go out there and we're just giga fucked but uh i'd rather do that raids are seven days bro you know what i mean i think if you get ahead of the curve you'll pull ahead and you'll be fine in the open world especially if you're planning as much as you are now but the most important thing is to get those heroics you get like 50 badges a day and all the mm -hmm. warlock gear costs like 230 so if you can get yep. four days of heroics five days of heroics before exactly. the first raid then you'll be a-okay good comfy to go, so bro who cares? yeah you're gonna comfortable. be comfortable mm -hmm. I, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun i think well, you know the goal is and even if we you dude you can just get ahead and then just fall fall rest of the xp the rest of the way if you just you just want to be because questing is fast if you're non-stop going right 
you can get ahead. Yeah. It can be really good too, especially once you can get your mount and everything. Like that, that might honestly be the way. I've got some more testing to do. Um, the best areas are the early ones. Unfortunately, it kind of gets spacey as things go on. But guys, you get that Sons of Hodir quest then at seventy seven. Yeah. God, good luck with that. <laughs> Yeah, but you're, you hit the nail on the head. Basically, the whole goal for everyone who's trying to compete for like progression or anything is to get that the earliest heroics as possible, which is probably going to be that, that Tuesday lockout going into Wednesday morning. So, so we're going to miss there. the first one, like guaranteed, right? Because it's like a yeah, 3 p.m. Some... Pacific, so it'll come out 6 p.m. Eastern, and then you'll like if people are trying pretty hard, it'll probably be like two days. You play like 12 hours, you sleep, play 12 hours, and then that next day you'll be able to do the lockout. Nah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to sleep. So. You're talking. I want to try something real quick. It'll be, uh, yeah. I don't think. I mean, unless there's some like crazy, like I've seen some mage ones pulling some insane XP per hour. That's like sustainable too. Like the areas we're going, it falls off as soon as you start to level up. Um, but there's some pretty crazy sustainable stuff that mages <laughs> can do. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how fast they can get it done. But I don't think it's possible to get those Monday lockouts done. Even if like a mage makes it, there's not going to be four other players. Do you, you think that uh, it's going to be world first mage? Because their, their farms yeah. are just so yep. insane. 100%. I, I think do. so. I do. Yeah. yeah. Or they can get one point whatever in the dungeon <laughs> in the and then get ahead. Do the same thing we're going to do. They're going to grind their dick off, get ahead and go open world. And also, because they can use fire still, right? Also... There's a lot of mob grinding spots, not like where we would mob grind, but we're like AOE grinding and all the AOE stuff didn't get affect, doesn't affect the outside world, right? I think a DK will win. That's what I, yeah. yeah. DK's, Whoa. bro, DK's, bro, DK's. I think that, well, to be honest, I think, I think it's going to be, well, my only tactics is doing some crazy shit. I think he's going DK, right? And he's having a whole bunch of healers sit outside the party and just heal him while he just endlessly mob grinds, right? And I think world first is going to be about 12 hours, dog. Well, that I think I, mean, I, yeah. I would be astonished if it was any more than like 15 hours. I'd think 15. Yeah. Like yeah, I would say I would I would literally be astonished if it was more than 15. Yeah, I think uh, I rooted out um, our path, and then it should be like somewhere close to 15, if not less. In dungeons? Um, it's a mix. Oh, okay. We're doing some uh, wild stuff that I'm not gonna disclose. <laughs> Everyone's got their secret strats to success. But, you know, since uh, you guys are on Benediction, I'll share some. Yeah, definitely. Gonna, yeah, I'll share anything with everybody outside of Benediction, you know? <laughs> I don't want it tracing back, so I'm not sharing anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't share anything though. Mindmas doesn't let me or he'll fucking kill me, so. <laughs> How about that Strange Engine part change? Thank God. Oh, well, yeah, what they do? They nerfed it? Like everybody thought they yeah, were? Yeah, it, oh, it, uh, it, it only turns in for gold now. So I saw uh, a, a, a clip of somebody <laughs> vendoring like a hundred of them. Didn't LMG hard farm those for like ever? Yeah. I mean, a... LMG farmed them for a while. Stay safe was farmed for a while too. They had to have known that it was changed. I bet you the people who knew about that for a year, there's people who knew that forever, bro. And they're probably just so mad about it. I'm doing a, theory, a test right now. I want to see if I can uh, jump off and portal back up. I haven't tried it. Have you tried it? Of what? Just jumping off and then portaling if it lets you portal. Like, in, it should in be there. able to. As long as it's not. I think you, have, you have to be an LOS, right? No, you can't. No, you don't. You can be oh, anywhere. No, you, you don't have to be LOS. That's right. Yeah. You can yeah, be anywhere. You go. Yeah, it works. I wasn't able to do it in private servers, but I might have been able to. I might have missed the range on it. Gotcha. Thinking, that's my favorite. Arena? This is easily. Let me ask you guys. Th what is your guys' favorite spell added to the game? This is mine. By far. Nothing beats this. Meta. I knew you were gonna Meta. fucking say that. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna say that talk. <laughs> Nemo, what about you? Uh Drain Soul. Drain Soul is your favorite? Yeah. It's already in the game. Oh, yeah. oh the new spell? Yeah. Um Well I mean I can you I guess you can consider that being new, right? <laughs> uh it has some changes. I guess there's not that many new spells out there. Uh I like Portal a lot too, but I have to think on that one. Dude, I, nothing, nothing beats. I love the portal. Mage talk. Oh, what? We have a mage deep dive on the other podcast coming up. Um, yeah, we gotta do a war. We got we're doing a. We got to do. This is gonna be weird, but we gotta do a warlock deep dive on my, the other podcast. But half of me is like doesn't want to because it's like just go to the lock talk, right? But I guess you know. When are you gonna fire up the the caster cast? 
That's what we need to do. I don't know. The Caster Cast podcast? <laughs> the Caster yeah, podcast? Yeah. Get, get have like, like 12 podcasts. Yeah. Well, I, would, that, yeah. I would love to do like a round table caster thing would be fun as fuck. Yeah, exactly. You get one representative of like one shadow mm -hmm. priest from LA. It'd be super fun. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, We're coming up on an hour, hour and a half now. We're just kind of... that's. We're just shooting the shit. If anybody has any questions, do you want to know about it? Ask him if you guys in the panel want to talk about something. Um, we're going to do, we're starting. I want to do spec specific whole episode spec spec dives coming up. Might as well. We'll probably start with demo and uh, hope that the affliction is fixed before we do the affliction deep dive because <laughs> it's so up in the air right now. I don't think, do you think, do you think apps unplayable without it? Rather, would you not play it? Are you just destroying? Demo Destro, or, 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 you know, what are you doing? If, 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 hypothetically speaking, if they don't fix it, what are you doing? I will be our Demo Warlock, or I will play Destro. <laughs> yeah. The crazy yeah, thing is, if they don't fix it, at some point, you're still going to need to be half. Old Warlock, Destro's going to fall off at some point, I think. Do you think, actually, yeah, do you think Destro's going to fall off at some point? For sure. scale as good as, yeah, that's what Absolutely. I'm saying. So it's like, at some point, even if they don't fix the glyph, you're going to be stuck playing that shit. I mean, AF is like, it, it's it's just, it'll go from S to A. Like, it's still mm -hmm. great. It's just not, if, like, the skill that you put into the class just won't show on the meters more. What is it? The quick, the glyph of quick decay is not working. I think it'll just be a dead spec if they don't fix it, but if I they don't, don't see fix it. not fixing it. I can't, <laughs> I do not want to ever spec into affliction if it's not fixed. The glyph, for those that don't yeah. know, it, allows your corruption to be affected by haste so you can imagine 600 haste or whatever you have on your corruption 500 on your corruption which is big it's a big deal very big deal i'd play d yeah <laughs> i'm i'm I will, i i'm i'm loving Destro. Destro's my favorite spec i think right now uh, i don't know what what it is about it i think it's because we've been spamming shadow bolts for i don't know how long as destro because i'm from tbc servers not from classic right so i've literally been only spamming one button no email build, just straight shadow bolt catapult for a long time. And uh, I think that's why I like it so much. Where, where people are like, they don't want to play Destro because they've been playing Destro. I'm like, yo, it's changed so much. Like the amount of people who came into my chat when we're the first run that we did and were like, whoa, that's Chaos Bolt. Like, whoa, you're using Incinerate? You don't Shadow Bolt? Shadow Bolt's not on my bar. Well, it is my bars, but, you know, just in case you get locked out or something. But like, yeah, you don't Shadow Bolt. Like, ever. It's pretty cool. I don't think anything beats the fun of Demo, though because of how much you really are watching for molten corp you're using like if you look at the damage done a breakdown of a damage done at the end of a fucking fight dude it's crazy it's actually kind of crazy fire. that's it yeah. incinerate soul fire it's crazy dude it's a lot of fun what's up anything else boys what else can we what else can we need this is a the, the little filler look at this like a filler ep anything beta talk mm -hmm. Anything else in the beta we're missing? Man, so you're just quitting if they don't fix it? <laughs> yeah. I, I 100% I will quit the game if they don't fix Affliction War. So. Dude, uh, <laughs> yo, ne <laughs> Nemo and Main Mice <laughs> were looking forward to Affliction <laughs> so much. Because remember, Nemo is from right. private servers for I don't even know how long, where he's hard carrying as 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 AF for years. And so, and not just him, Alondo, there's a lot of people who are really, really excited to play Affliction. The sweaty, the, the, the sweaty players, the guys who like that fucking uh that that the we like when we can do something and it shows you can't do shit in tbc and it show overall damage you can yeah overall damage you can see who's the better warlock right but you can't not on bosses bro like we, oh yeah let me crit more you I mean a little bit but let me crit more than you do i get double lusted do i have alley af you know whatever else that's out of the picture and instead of it being you know what five to, um, i'll be generous here and say 10 percent skills of warlock in tbc it's like 90% skill. Okay, maybe that's copium. You know, you get it. It's like a large percent of skill. And the players like me, Nemo, the, the, the guys who like the enhanced rotation, the people who can min-max and sweat and have the guilds to be able to do it, whatever else along the list goes on, we love Affliction, bro. I mean, I think it's the same concepts that'll get you higher in yeah. TBC that it does in Wrath. It's just all about positioning and uptime. Like, if you do that well, uh, anyone can do a rotation. Like, the Affliction rotation isn't that hard. So as long as you're just like, I don't know, keeping good up time, making use of every single global positioning well in advance, Corruption. it's the same kind of like core gameplay mechanics in TBC. Like in our speed runs, I'm doing like, I don't know, like 15 to 20% more than the other blocks <laughs> overall. 
10 percent luck 20 percent skill 15 percent concentrated power will there you go as a demo warlock and a sweat is it best to just dungeon grind the first three or four levels and then split off for solo or just grind it all out um if you i feel like that we that could work if you well it depends on what server you're on but if i'm if i'm talking about benediction where we're at where i'm at um i feel like if you get ahead like that and you feel like you're ahead yeah go in the open world and quest yeah but that's up to you, you grind you it all be, out if you're dungeon you cleaning with really a group ahead. of five or do they know you want to bail on them like is it something a pandemic you're on a big server you need to be very ahead because everything converges right you've got two starting areas and then it all collapses into one pretty much or not one but into uh, certain areas that are going to be really popular so you need to be far ahead if you're starting in the dungeon and then going out to quest yeah. imagine trying to do these old Drac arena and not being the first one there yeah oh, imagine exactly. how crowded it's going to be that's going to be nasty for those that don't know old Drac arena is uh ring of blood the new ring of blood it feels like there's they just matched it there's a ring of blood there's a black morass type level there's like a, there's so much cool stuff in here like calling a strat that's like my favorite dungeon in the world oh like, i hate I that one is that i hate fear? it no Whoa. i hate it because it's running but i love it because of the lore and how it's strat like that blew my fucking mind when i did it one when i i don't know how long ago i did it and i was like calling a strat home i didn't i didn't put two and two i put two and two together but i got 16 instead of four and then <laughs> when we exited the building and it was all strat i was like what it was so cool that's why i like it um damn i had something to say but i don't remember oh pandemic is a talent that allows your ua and your corruption to crit if you're talking about retail pandemic pandemic timers those are not in the game yet for those that know pandemic timers on retail starting i think kata or mop i'm not sure you could say corruption is running out in like eight seconds seven seconds you could actually reapply corruption and it wouldn't clip it it would just add to the it would just extend the dot so instead of 18 seconds it'd be like 24 seconds or whatever and obviously it had a cap uh, i love that it's way better but this is for those that are coming from retail which i which is actually a lot of people i met a lot of fucking people who are coming from retail to come play Lich King because Lich King is like the first is like classic and retail combined like not the shitty retail but it's kind of when you know classic you know the original kind of like went more on a you know retail you know the vehicles and shit and uh you popular. you pretty much always you want your dots to run out you want it to be three two one off immediately putting another one up you don't want to clip that last one which you know is easy to do um but you don't you know there's situations when you can but you generally don't want to you just do an extra shadowable and then let it fall off and re-put it on the pandemic was a mop. Okay, thank you. It was so popular, they extended every dot and allowed. Yeah, I love it. It's way better. Um, I feel like in terms of min maxing, I don't know if it's better or not. Because I mean, it could be people get mad at. But you lose a lot of damage by clipping your dots. You don't think you would just by clipping one dot, but you do. And uh, people clip dots and they're bad at it, and so they want the the pandemic. You know. Tell Pummel's UI would be better if you use LUI. Yeah, I like his UI. It's not bad. I like LUI. I'm, I'm definitely an LUI guy. I think it'd be better if you hit this. I used these. to have I used to have LVI uses all the time. It, it's very easy to port in between versions. Allowed to like from a private server to uh, yeah, beta to BTR, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just now I use bartender. Yeah, you hide this, you're golden. You hide <laughs> this, this is abyss UI. You hide this and put the bunny with uh the you put one of these funky bunnies here, dog, and you're good to go. You need the bunny. But the thing is, you don't have your uh, pretty moving frame. That's true. The pretty moving frame is essential for success. You can also get shadow unit frames or something though to go with this if you wanted to. If you wanted to get rid of the name, the actual like party, the good look on this. Um, is balance good damage? Balance is amazing damage. Yes. Um, I've yet, to be honest, I feel like we haven't really seen like a, I mean, Darcy was pumping classic go shout out pumps, but other than that, I haven't really seen too many boomies go all out, but I, that could be, I don't, that could be a long list of things. This is the first round of testing. Even all of us in here are trying to figure shit out you know for the most part yeah some of us like we know what we're doing with our warlocks but for the most part figuring other shit out and people are sigil abusing and there's bugs and rogues had 50,000 talent points at one point you know sarth is on a template hunter clapping but it blew his mind that it was good which is crazy because the hunter are hunters are good so i think this next round of testing will be a big one i'm personally trying to i have sarth can't jump <laughs> i'm personally uh I'm playing all the casters, so I'm in the middle of gearing them all up in heroics. Today, I'm going back to my Ellie Shaman. I'll probably go Ellie and a Mage or Ellie and a Boomy or something. And then, uh, so when raid testing comes out, they're not in template gear because I want to see them pump, you know? I can't I can't imagine Jordy's UI off the top of my head. Uh, you saw dot clipping issues in Pandemic because it was 30% early, so you couldn't refresh too early. Yeah, but if you fucking refresh, if you fucked up, if you clip Pandemic timers, you're a bum. You know what I mean? Like, how do you fuck that up? 
that I feel like that was made because people were complaining about clipping too much. You can't use Tier and Archie either, Sarsa. <laughs> so, um, have you guys done any testing for or got any data? I've literally done no research or put any effort into uh, pre-patch rating for Sunwell. Uh, we did a sun. We did a full Sunwell uh, last night. Uh, Rugs put one together. Twenty-five of us just on cleared beta. Sunwell on beta. It was uh, completely a joke. The trash melted. Yeah. We, well, we won. What, what, we like won. spec wise, what did you play? So I was, I was demo. Uh, there were people in the raid playing as Destro, and some were playing as Affliction, and they were very even across the board on all the fights. Uh, I feel like Destro's going to carry pre batch. Destro, yeah, right, Destro say, in the right hands, using cooldowns yeah. properly, and flame caps, which for some flame reason cap. nobody's fucking doing. I feel like they're going to, I feel like Destro's going to be the maybe. Stop. I think. How, how short were the fights? You're gonna drive the price up. It's they're very. It's thirty percent reduced health, so it was very very fast. Like all the fights. Like we under won a minute. Phase Muru, and it was it was really really fast. I wouldn't well, say I'm under a I'm, I'm wondering. Like, okay, good. I'm wondering about the Demo Destro hybrid. That's what I'm thinking is gonna be a powerhouse in pre patch. It it looks, looks, you don't think you have enough. You don't have enough points portal. at seventy. That's true. Duh. What what uh glyphs were you using as Demo? Uh, I wasn't using any glyphs because I wanted it to be realistic since we won't okay, have good. any of the good ones. Good, good. Were they? Were the other uh, locks? I didn't inspect. Some of them were using like wrath gems, but it's just you know whatever. We could talk it's about gems it. actually. Or glyphs, I mean. Yeah, I mean. Before we go. I don't think Conflag Glyph will be in the game at 70, so it makes Deep Destro a little bit weaker. But I still yeah. think it'll be stronger than like Deep Af or Deep Demo. And I think like a hybrid spec, as long as it gets ran, um, it's gonna be good. Anything with the check, list... anything with the check mark is in the game. These are not in the game. And I got a question. That's what I'm. Th so what do you think? Because Conflag's not in. Shadow I want to know. Stone. I want to know. It. Well, I want to know. Well, you'd run Incinerate as Demo. Is Incinerate right. in the game? Yeah. You have nothing. Well, you don't need to run Hellstone. You just run Incinerate. You don't need Hellstones. Incinerate. You're using, you go off Molten Course. That's feeling your Molten Course. Might as well. Better than, I mean, to give you something rather than uh, Hellstones. Think about it. Um, how would you, what do you, how would you run, how would you Destro without no conflag? Would you on cooldown reapply or would you just run it at the end? I have not tried it, so I'm actually curious about this. I think you can just time it towards the end of your immolates. When yeah, I know, I already have this. And this is actually incorrect for Warlocks. But, uh, if I did it, I would probably do that. Um, someone's probably going to sim up the optimal rotation. Yeah, that's I'm what I was going to wait for, like, last tick of MLA, hit that refresh MLA, and then go back to my normal rotation. So it will be almost the same, except uh, your comply overall damage will be a little lower. Yeah. Um, neat. That thing is pretty much just like one. It, that's one of those spreadsheets that was passed around on private servers that were pretty much... I would say like 95% correct. So you could literally follow that for every spec and be almost correct. But if you're like in the min maxing, you always find like one thing different. Even for the mages, that's what's not spot on. Destro C tier chase on light. I was trying to shot Destro pretty hard. I think Destro is going to be, but I think Destro still slept on. I don't know why it slept on so hard. I think corruption might be worth it. For no, because you're not putting up corruption as Destro. But if you well, were yeah, so, yeah, as Destro, Demo, but like oh, as Demo, yeah, you run, yeah, you run yeah. corruption and incinerate. The third one. You don't have a third one. You don't get it to level eighty. Oh yeah. Um. I mean, it's we have you have corruption. You have fear, health funnel. I mean, yeah, these fear, health funnel, imp, health stone, steering pain, shadow bolt. Yeah, I mean, sha I mean, shadow bolt. I don't think you have mana problems. I guess, but I don't, there's nothing else really you would run. I feel like. So I personally just run. I'm gonna run incinerate because I feel like demo is. You don't have meta. You don't have felguard glyph. You don't have the nice glyphs. But I feel like you. You got. Oh, it's all right. Free nightfalls. Okay, you can't, can't, can't complain about that. Growth of Corruption feels good with Nightfall combined, if you'd ever need to do that. What if you're Affliction? Corruption. That's probably it. That's all you can really do. Shad Shadow Bolt. Yeah, like, Corruption and Shadow Bolt. Yeah. Wh whoever gets a Book of Glyph Mastery and gets that first Life Tap Glyph is going to be so rich. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, can you believe that? I need to uh, pay someone to cart me out Glyphs um, as I level up. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt waiting for Conflag to play because of the haste. Yeah, I think you you have to Conflag is so much damage. It's so much more damage than it was in TBC. Way more damage than it was in TBC. So I feel like 
without blindly guessing that you you can flag and re-emulate. And once again, emulate does good damage too, so I just kind of feel funky, you know what I mean? Fuck your timing up. I wonder how hard so, Chaos Bolt hits on pre on, on the pre-patch too, so I'm curious. Because it hits pretty well. It's pretty hard, but without Glyph, it's kind of like, I don't know. We'll see. When we when we were doing Sunwell, Spoon was uh, playing Destro, and mm. there was a bug with Felmist where Felmist would just keep flying around. So he spent 15 minutes just dotting her up in the air and killing her straight up in the air, and she died like over like the firewall. I posted a screenshot <laughs> it, uh, in in the PTR channel in the Fusion Discord, and S S Spoon was number one damage on that, and he was just immolating and con flagging while she was flying by. It was just it was so Fucking stupid. Spoon dog. <laughs> well, I love Spoon. <clears throat> God, that guy's a pumper. Um, anything else we want to talk about pre patch glyphs? We're going to have a pre patch episode. Uh, close to the pre patch, which, if we can speculate, would be like, a, I would like, like three weeks. I want to say, like, between three or four weeks. I hope pre patch is in mid to late August because I still want to do a few more. Uh, yeah. Some else to finish it off. It's kind of where I think it would be. But at the same time. I might be one of the only ones here, but you can full send pre-patch right now and I'd be happy, bro. Fuck it. Two months yeah, of pre-patch. I am so, I am so miserable spamming Shadow Ball. I'm even more than I've ever been, bro. I have been playing TBC for three, four years. I am so miserable. It's crazy. It's like, oh, especially. Yeah, <laughs> just tasted the raid content and I got to go back. It's like. Oh, and now look at me. I'm just going to be just as burnt out when it comes. That's why I added all the casters. So I'm just not playing one class the whole time. Path consuming, would you use any of those haste charges, backdraft charges on reapplication to emulate? The problem with that is you would have to. Because you you, you in a perfect world, you're not waste you're not spending backdrafts on to emulate. There's time you can finesse it around it, especially at 80, you can finesse around it a little bit where you can just go wait to do your conflag by like a second, reapply emulate, and then go. But on this situation, you're not gonna be able to because you're not gonna send incinerates without emulate up, right? So you have to conflag it, emulate, incinerate, incinerate, or incinerate chaos bolt. You you know what I mean? Yeah. For solely PVE, what horde? Yeah, anybody ask the questions. We're just winding up talking shit, kind of close it out. For any, um, for solely PVP, what horde race is best for Ellie Shop? Oh, for Ellie Shop, uh, or I don't know, or Torn yeah, is not that bad for Warsaw, but Orc is just really good. Um, do we have a? While oh, we're hanging out here, while we're vibing, do we die? Cool. Um, does the pot CDs change in pre-patch? Yeah. You should be able to pre-pot and all that. The haste pots will affect uh, melee now. And mm -hmm. pre-passers now, yeah. So it's one of those things where, well, as Destro, you got to watch clipping, right? GCD, right? Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't haste pot if you're lusting on pull, I don't think. But you just Destro. If we're talking about just pre-patch, I don't think the other, obviously the other potion's not going to be in yet. I like that change. You pre-pop a lot of, and that's a lot of damage. A lot of people aren't pre-popping. Thankfully, DBM. When it gets up, we'll tell you at the end of the fight how many people pre he pre popped or who did it, um, because it's big damage. It's a lot of damage, especially as Destro or especially as any spec. You know what I mean? What crits harder, Demo, Demo, Soulfire, or Destro Chaos Bolt? Oh boys, Demo, Soulfire, Meta, Trinkets up. It's nutty, bro. Nutty. I've got 28. I got a 29. In, I got a 29 in raid, but it was on Thaddeus, so you know whatever. But we got, I've got 28, I've got 20, 21s and 21 Ks in dungeons, just in basic dungeons. Now this is me literally not seeding at all. Like if I showed you my logs, it would be 70% of it so far. Cause I'm just sitting there like only rank one in shadow bolts to get snipes off. And then I try to send it, but Demo's so much fun. That's why Demo's so much fun in dungeons because you can play the normal way where you're just on your meta and you're seeding and yada, yada, or you can have some fun with it and try to get some soul fires and cheese it, you know, it's kind of like crazy how much fun it is. A tier list is popcorn. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm going to post just the tier list here in a couple hours as well. Mm, what else we got here, bud? Anything else? Anyone have met in 10 years, knocked on your door one day and asked to take a dump? Would you let them in? Yeah. Of course, bro. You boy got a shit. I don't know how you found out where I live, but you know, hey. Uh, those of us on Fresh would love pre patch too. That's true, bro. None of us. Yeah. Ooh, is there anything we can do for Fresh for Warlocks to help them out? I'm doing a classic life episode of just a Fresh episode where I'll get like raised and someone there. Obviously, besides leveling builds, which I'm starting all my leveling, my Warlock guides started the other day. My Affliction will be up today. I guess not, right? You're just leveling and nothing really, nothing really different. I guess we can, 
I don't know if we have enough for a whole episode about going fresh, but we can definitely for leveling. Yeah, we can definitely talk um, on it, like leveling and what they would do for. I guess the fastest way to gear on fresh, maybe we can do a quick little something on that. Well, for fresh leveling, quality of life is definitely getting your fell hunter specking into uh, fell hunter sh improved shadow light. I think where right. it gets mana back on it, and then also getting dark packed, so you're just a hundred percent self sustaining. And you don't have to like ever drink or eat. Yeah, minor feed. Just, uh, and there's um, yeah, and siphon light, bro. Affliction is broken as shit. It's crazy. Tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm doing a 24 hour, hopefully a 24 hour speed run. Hopefully I'm going to 70, 80 in 24 hours. I don't know if I'm going to or not. Tommy, who's way better at the game than I at leveling than I am, got 24 hours on a shaman. Warlocks shaman. are better than a shamans in leveling, so we'll see. <clears throat> Why won't they yep. give us 61 yard nameplates for Wrath? I think it'd be annoying, Nug. Because 61. in a raid or a building, you see like, you see like all the nameplates from under the floor and shit. I feel like it gets annoying at 41 sometimes. It's like 61. Tommy's a cutie. Tommy is a cutie, bro. Tommy's Tommy Fog. Yeah. Great today's on Jude base 24. He did. Yeah. But he died a million times. And yeah, I think if he had a good focus on it, he could kill that. We'll see tomorrow. I'm excited for it. Yeah, it make might me be a console camera. command to see nameplates further away. Like there's one to make your camera bigger, further. I, I don't know. Zoom out, yeah. Well, boys, any any closing statements? Any last minute questionitos? Thank you guys for the subs and follows during this. I usually have them off during the show, but I'm turning my I'm streaming today, so I just started my stream. <laughs> we're gonna hang out. I don't know what we're doing. Probably Ellie Shaman again. One more day of Ellie Shaman uh, heroics because I'm addicted to him. What do we need hard cap on any place? No console. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Um, well, boys, we're, I want to do this weekly so we can start doing some spec deep dives to get into it. We'll do a demo deep dive next time. You want to? We'll just compile all the information you can on demo and we'll just hit it hard. An hour, an hour and a half of talking about everything about it from how you'd spec, how you'd level. Let's talk about previous, the gearing, rotation. You know? I'm down. We can go aft first if you want, since you do have a spreadsheet technically done. Well, we could, we'll figure it out in the talk. Either way, we're going to do spec dives next. Yeah. Any closing thoughts, my boys? Main mice, Copium, Nemo? What are you guys going to be doing this week? Your TVC characters getting geared the fuck out yet? Uh, I think two of them are full this now, which is nice. Yeah, god um, damn. Full biz. Well, Warlock is like one of the technically this setups, but it's 30 DPS behind the optimal one but uh this one looks cooler yeah i'm missing every, um helm and trinket and that's it helm and trinket daddy whoa i might not even need to i need helm for four piece to be honest so you know what i mean they run helm and drop i don't know i the same it oh you're going convoker um with the helmet yeah they just gave me it so i can't really you know what i mean what can you do <laughs> i'm not gonna be like nah i don't want that <laughs> i'm doing gloves as part of the four set because i like the way the uh some helmet shoulders look Ooh, nah. and that's more important than 30 dps that's actually not a bad idea that they would be really close to sock it out well, yeah i haven't ran once now. i get yeah once i get it i'll probably do some sims on it but i don't really know yet you're looking thick though you're getting there I think I ran the Sims on my build. It doesn't need Omnipotence. It doesn't need Defile Worlds or the Brutalis offhand. And it's 30 DPS below the uh, top. Um, there you like go. This one with Are you blasting top. too, Mr. Rank 2 1? Any big ranks on your part lately? Um, No, not in a while, I think, because uh, I haven't gotten a Blood Bus and Brutalis in like a month and a half, I feel. Yeah, bro. I don't know. And I can't seed like on Maru or KK. Speed it's just clearing life. Yeah, we're speed clearing life. Yeah. yeah. I don't even I know what I, I don't even know what elemental shaman feels like yet. Still, and some it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the game though. All right, brothers, Kopi, I love you, dog. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome to come back fucking every goddamn time for all I care, dog. Love you, my man. Thanks for having me. Of this course. is really fun. I'm gonna shout him out. Shout out to my boys, man. Copium should, or his name is it's Pummel. But he streams pretty much all. I don't know how. What's your? Do you have a schedule? Uh, Fridays and Wednesdays right now. Okay. Main my dub dub L. Nemo, you're not streaming. Are you? Gonna, when are you gonna start streaming? You got that camera, dog. I have a stream, but uh, I don't know. I don't stream very often. It's usually just like raid releases. I'll stream for my friends. What is it? I'll shout it out regardlessly. Uh, I think it's just floorboard. Floorboard? Yeah, that's uh, 
Spelled normally? An old name I had, like, I don't know, 13 years ago. Spelled <laughs> normally? However long. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go, guys. Start streaming me, Nemo. Yeah, he needs to, bro. Nemo's giga. He's humble about it, but he's giga. All right, boys. I love you guys. I'll see you next week, okay? I'll get, this, I'll get this uh, right now downloaded to Google Drive and send it to you guys. You guys can post it. And I'll post it tonight. We'll post it tonight. Peace.